Well, one of the services you provide is giving people something to talk about. Let, let them talk. It makes them happy. It makes them feel good. They don't believe half the shit they say. People want to talk. Yeah. It's fun to talk. Yo, it's your main man, Will. I got my boy Tone here with me. And we here to bullshit, talk shit, and give shit. This here podcast is HTD. Yo, hey, what up, though? Hey, it's Will. Hey, it's your man, Tone. Hey, what's up? It's Vicky. And we back in here behind the mic through your speakers to bullshit, talk shit, and give shit. Was that, yeah, yeah. Was that, was that, go- was that good for you, Tone? I think so. I think that'll work. All right. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> all right. Tone, Tone, Tone wanted to uh, be yourself and, and bitch a little bit about uh, <laughs> the intro being on, on point. This week, because uh, like I told, like y'all heard last week, we had Vicky in here. We gonna keep on having in here until she get tired, or until I get tired of her. I mean, I mean, <laughs> <laughs> just being real Whoa. with you. <laughs> but uh, how y'all doing, Vicky? I'm gonna ask you first because normally I ask Tone, but wow, wow, Vicky... it cast me to the side already. <laughs> hey, ladies first. Ladies first. <laughs> That's why Jerry I'm opened good. the show. Whoa. Whoa. <laughs> That was good. My bad. <laughs> no, no, don't say my bad. That was good. Yeah, it's all right. Vicky, how you doing? <laughs> I'm doing good. Um, rough week since Sunday, but we'll get into that later. Yeah, yeah. Tone? You know, I'm pretty good, man. Uh, my Lions. Oh, game. boy. I'm glad you said my Lions <laughs> because I'm going to get into that. I'm Listen, they won another good. game. Let me finish. Uh, my Wolverines were in a bye week. So, all in all, things is good. American Horror Story still going. That's another conversation. Vicky, did you enjoy that episode? I did. It. I. They're really. They got me at the edges. I thought I had it figured out, but I don't. But then again, that's what they always do. All right. So. All right. All right. All right. All right. <laughs> Since nobody asked how I'm doing, I'm doing just fairly well. I mean, can't complain. I mean, the NFL is what I thought it was going to be this year, this year so far, but we're going to get into that. Um, so let's go ahead and open up with these games from the previous week. All right. So did you think the Chiefs were going to be four and zero? Give me a second, Tom. Give me a second. Nah, that, I'm sorry, that just bugged me so much. Because give me you a second. Give me a second. Give me a second. All right. All right. All right. All right. Let's start off the week like I always do. I'm going to start off with these Atlanta Falcons. Atlanta Falcons lost to the Bills, twenty-three seventeen. All right, Green Bay, Green Green Bay over Chicago, thirty-five fourteen. Saint New Orleans over Miami, twenty to zero. Houston over Tennessee, fifty-seven fourteen. New York Jets over the Jacksonville Jaguars, twenty-three twenty. I'm about to say St. Louis, but the Los Angeles Rams (laughs) over the Dallas Cowboys, thirty-five thirty. Cincinnati over Cleveland, thirty-one seven. Carolina over New England, thirty-three thirty. Uh, Pittsburgh over Baltimore 26-9 Detroit over Minnesota 14-7 Arizona over San Francisco 18-15 Tampa Bay over New York Giants 25-23 Philadelphia over Los Angeles Chargers 26-24 Denver over Oakland 16-10 Seattle over Indianapolis 46-18 and Kansas City over Washington 29-20 Alright so where I'm gonna start at before I, I'm a, we we I mean this is this is uh, HD and I am I am who I am so we're gonna start this thing off with uh <laughs> Tony you do you do call me uh Birdman so I'm we're gonna start off we it's a reason why you call me Birdman do you do <laughs> do you have to tell the people why you call me we Birdman? don't need to get into all of that right now I'm Wait, just I want to know Wait, see he... see see because this guy thinks he's he thinks he's the ultimate boss. <laughs> no, I don't. In the no, I don't. World, he be rubbing his hands together like bird, man. <laughs> see, Vicky, it... <laughs> Vicky, before I you... can see that actually. Wow. <laughs> see, Vicky, before you came along, me and Tone always had this thing where uh, if we got sponsorships, that he would want forty uh, percent of it, and I was like, no. Which like I thought was only right and fair. <laughs> like no, <laughs> like I started this. I started this uh, barbecue business, <laughs> and we gonna keep it moving. Like I feel like I should be seventy percent uh, 
holder of everything. Damn. I should, yes, exactly. Exactly. <laughs> I feel like I should have got seventy percent of everything, you know. But is it that very bird manish? That I mean, is bird manish. I mean, Vicky, you keep talking, you might end up with ten. Like, who are you talking to? <laughs> but anyway, uh, we're gonna start off in Atlanta. Uh, Buffalo came into town, lady. Destroyed us a little bit. They didn't, they didn't destroy us. I it mean, wasn't destroyed. We weren't destroyed. Some of the some of the things didn't go our way. That should have went our way. I mean, Matt Ryan. The 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 main thing I'm really mad about in that game. I'm not even mad about we us losing the game. But the only thing I'm upset about is the fact that I forget who it was, but one of the guys, one of the Buffalo defensive linemen, got a little pressure on Matt Ryan and. He hit Matt Ryan's right arm as he's about to throw the ball. The ball doesn't come out until Matt Ryan's hand actually goes forward, right? So Buffalo defensive back picks it up and scores, you know? Uh, they oh, they review it. They don't overturn it. Buffalo wins, all right? But uh, at the quarter point of the season, Matt Ryan looks bad. I'm going to just go in and say it like it is. Even though he did lose Julio and Sanu. Exactly. He, he's, he's looking more like 2015 Matt Ryan. And when I say 2015 Matt Ryan, for those of y'all that don't know, that first year in Kyle Shanahan's system was a bad, was very bad for Matthew. And uh, he had to get used to everything and get all these uh, kinks and whatever. And uh, right now, he's just not looking like his normal – well, I can't even say normal. His MVP self last year. I, was I expecting Matt Ryan to look like himself last year? No, but I was expecting him to look a little bit better than what he does now. Even though I do say that those – that for his five interceptions that he has already this year are uh, because of tip passes. One of them was just a great play by Glover Quinn playing, uh, playing coverage on Shout Julio last him. week. Shout out to Glover Quinn. And – uh. I mean, but, and Matt Ryan, he threw me off a little bit, Tone. But Matt Ryan, deep ball don't even look the same. And uh, he's throwing behind receivers a little bit every now and then. And uh, hopefully he can get get his kings right out together. And hopefully these receivers use that jug machine on our off week this week to get themselves together and learn how to catch pass. Even though it was Nick Williams, our fourth string wide receiver right now, that was playing uh, in Buffalo, but... It is what it is because, like, Vicky can attest to this. Uh, the running game was working. The running game was working on it was. In, in Atlanta this past week. And I don't know why, but we just kept on the pass to Taylor Gabriel and freaking Nick Williams. But it is what it is. We lost. Uh, no team since the 72 Dolphins has been undefeated to win a Super Bowl. So we'll be all right. I mean, I, there's so much I could go into with this game. It's just going to it. We got time. <laughs> I, I'm so like you said, Matt Ryan. I didn't. I didn't want to. I didn't want to say it so bluntly that he doesn't look. That he doesn't look good right now. But you're right. You just gave me that reality check. He does not look good right now, and I don't know what's to blame for it other than him. Like I know it's only game four, but do you think we can come? Do you think we can? rationally make a, a opinion like an educated opinion on Sarkeesian. I do I well on Sarkeesian no because the play calling looks good and the play calling looks okay but it can be better I mean that first week we were, I was pissed that we weren't taking shots down the field second week we take shots down the field third week I forget what happened last week I ain't gonna lie to you but fourth but this week right here you losing Julio and S- Sanu baby boy you better run the damn football you got Devontae Freeman and Tevin Coleman Use them, but I'm not. I'm. It's it's the quarter of the season. It's the first quarter of the season. I'm gonna give give give, 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 give Sarkeesian his little time, and we gonna we gonna work it out. But I will say that we ain't got a, we ain't got that much time because Carolina looks good. Carolina's defense look good. I can say that. And Tampa Bay. Cam Newton ain't looking all that. Yeah, He's Cam all Newton. Right. Cam Newton. He all right, but Tampa Bay is there, and and New Orleans is two and two. So we ain't got time to bullshit and poop put around. We need to get our shit together. Exactly. Like we after this bye was well, the Dolphins and then after that it's the Patriots. And I'm that game is kind of nerve wracking for me. Because be. of course of course I want to win that game. 
game. And I'm thinking, so Beasley, wait, wait will Beasley still be out in the Patriots game? Beasley will be back by the Patriots game. But Sanu will be out though, right? Sanu will be, Sanu will just miss the uh, Dolphins game. Really? I thought it was two, three weeks. Oh, well, okay. That makes me feel a little bit better. <laughs> but um, I know after the game, Dan Quinn went into saying that he needs to, um, that they just need to work more on forcing turnovers. And that's that's exactly what was running through my mind the whole game. Like, I, why can't we? Why can't we force a turnover? So if that if that's his mindset right now, I think I think we're gonna we're moving in the right direction. Like you said, I, I can't freak out yet because it's only game four. So yeah, and I honestly I rather these injuries and I rather I rather these these fuck ups happen now than exactly. like week ten, week eleven. Like right. I rather them happen now so we can get over them and learn from and move on. I rather us get over these injuries now. Versus later on when we need everybody for the playoffs, so yeah, we'll we'll, we'll be fine. I'm sorry, Tom. I'm sorry, Tom. I know you ain't got a lot to say about Atlanta Falcons right no, now. No, I do. I've, I've got a couple of things to say about the Falcons. Just oh, from my outside perspective. <laughs> wow, outside indulge, my, in. indulge, my brother. Go ahead. <laughs> <laughs> Just from the outside looking in, you know, I'm not I'm not a loyal fan of the Falcons by any means or anything. But I would say y'all got a lot. To look forward to, you know, y'all got a high power offense, the number ten rushing attack in the league. Um, I just seen what y'all could do two weeks ago when y'all came down to four field. So the thing that y'all problem turnovers, y'all almost leading the league in turnovers per game. That's never gonna be helpful to your team. But Matt Ryan, he'll get it together. And I think I think y'all just got a lot to look forward to, man. I got more faith in them than I do my own Lions right now. Uh, yeah, speaking of your Lions, your Lions are your Lions are. Uh, first of all, they're not your Lions, and I'm gonna talk to that. I'm gonna talk about it after you talk about the Lions because I want you to look like an idiot. <laughs> but then I'm gonna then I'm gonna uh, put you on front. Street. No, how about you say what you got to say? <laughs> no, <right now? laughs> no, brother. No. Before you... I even talk about what I got to talk nah, about, bro, why don't you just say what you got to say? The Lions are leading the league. And when they're tied for first in the league for takeaways this year with 11, you should feel happy about that. Uh, Matt Stafford is looking good. The offense is horrible, though. Your yeah, defense is looking all right. Your, I said good. I ain't say great. And your, your defense is looking amazing, but uh, your offense is horrible. I mean, I don't know when y'all can get a 100-yard rusher again. That dude, Amir Dulu, is just this close. Just oh. this close. He had 96 yards. Just that close. But what I do like about the Lions, I'm, I'm talking way too much. But what, but what I do like about the Lions is the fact that y'all don't get away from the run. Amir Dulu can get bottled up. First down and second down. Y'all probably still running on third down again because y'all don't get away from the run. And, and that's, that's a new development too with the Lions. And but that's good though. That's good yeah, though. You still is. need to run you still need to run the ball. That way it works more. It gives you more option for the play action. And you can take the shots downfield with with uh Stafford. But go ahead. Um Yeah. I feel like our offense is gonna get a lot better when our best lineman come back, Taylor Decker. When he gets back in a lot of our offensive woes are going to be corrected. Greg Robinson down there on the line, man, he's a turnstile. He can't stop anybody. They're coming in. They're coming in fast this guy. We got to assign somebody to give him extra protection, extra help, and that's taking away what we can do offensively. So I feel like once Taylor Decker comes back, our offense is going to really, really open up. As far as the defense, I give the credit to Bob Quinn. You know, he came he from that Patriots tree, that organization, and he's drafting well. His fourth round picks are hitting. His fifth round picks are hitting. His sixth round picks are hitting, and he's making great moves. Um, he got Caldwell back here. He was in limbo for a little while. He's on a multi-year deal. The Lions, I'm still not buying in yet. I could let y'all know by mid-season to, to what I really feel with this team because they they've let me down so many times. I remember when they were seven and two one year and they lost every game. Following that, so uh, <laughs> damn, I'm why not... you had to laugh? <laughs> <laughs> I, I because I know what it feels like to be six that. and zero and, and damn to lose every game after that. I know what it feels You're like. Right. That shit happened two years You're, ago. Do you, do you know what it feels like to go on sixteen? Duh, and that's why I'm gonna stop you right there. <laughs> All right. I'm just saying the Lions will break your heart, man. 
They they, they will, will stab they you will. in the back and twist the knife. And that's and fine. Pull it out. That's fine. Put it back in but again. But let the people know. <laughs> but let the people know that you don't always rely on the Lions. Yeah, I, I rely on Green Bay sometimes too. You because... rely on the Green Bay Packers, right? Yeah, man. Green Bay. Like, you know what it was Green like? Bay is your I was like, second I was favorite in team, abusive... right? relationship the lions used to i used to come okay. home from work they used to slap the shit out of me sometimes i would come in there and green bay came in there and they was like hey it's gonna be all right let me take you out to dinner let me buy you some things you know tone and, this, and they did and they did that for me man but for, so, the, yeah. life me, but for the life of me but for the life of me i can't figure out why and what makes you feel like it's okay for you to be from Detroit, not only from Detroit, but claim you're a Lions fan and also root for Green Bay? I don't understand. Lions it. are one Because this is like, if no. If the Lions are Green Bay, no, play, brother, I'm going to root let, for the Lions. Let me talk, brother. Let me talk. And that's just like me rooting for the Saints. Vicky, would you ever root for the Saints? Hell no. Nah. Would you ever? Would you hell no. Nah. Would you rather root for the Carolina Panthers? <laughs> no. Vicky. Would you rather would you root for the Tampa Bay Buccaneers? Would I would you, never. Duh. Like you just can't it's just certain things as a fan of the sport that you just cannot do. And I, don't know. I, I don't and agree you with cannot that. you cannot root for the Green Bay Packers if you're gonna be a air quotes Detroit Lions fan. You can't but do I do that. though. Right. I do. Can't. I watch the Lions mm-hmm. every Sunday. What do you it mean? It does not matter. But I'm a Lions fan. Your heart first. Hearts, but deep in your heart of hearts, you be like, fuck, man. I want Aaron Rodgers to throw 400 yards, five touchdowns, goddamn. You know what I'm I saying? have on my fantasy <laughs> teams a lot of times. So, yeah. Uh, I do. But no, <laughs> you want them Packers to win. You want them Packers to win, bro. Like, that ain't something that you should hope for. When when uh, uh, Carolina was in Fosboro two, two days ago, uh, do you think I want them to win that game? I watched it. The ass. Be like, bro. When I watched that, no, no. If you, if you gonna be a Green Bay Packer fan, be a Green Bay Packer fan. Be a no. Green Bay Packer fan, bro. I'm not saying there's nothing wrong with being a Green Bay Packer fan. It's something wrong with being a Green Bay Packer fan and a Detroit Lions <laughs> fan. You just can't do both. You just can't do both. And I like you, 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 you be on the fence a lot, my brother. No, I don't. In uh, 2004, uh, 2004 NBA Finals. That's the one the Pistons won, right? Yeah. Uh, did you want the Lakers to win low key? No. Yes, you did. Yes, <laughs> you did. Because you also a Lakers fan as well. I, <laughs> so oh, what? Oh. So what? You need to be when did, on when did our show side. become a trial? <laughs> Uh, Dog, that is trying to discover my fandom. Man, we what have who court. are my loyalty? What's going Judge, on here, man? We need to have court in this Which motherfucker. Part? We need to have HTD court right now. Judge Vicky, put him on, put him on the stand, <laughs> goddamn. Because I'm gonna expose his motherfucking ass right here. Watch right out, Vicky. What do you think about this? She agree with as me. Far as, as far as fans, I'm like, I, I, yeah, I'm sorry, I don't agree with you, Tom. Uh, <laughs> I don't. That's okay. I feel like if you, if you, I don't. I would never in my life like root for the like root for the Falcons and then when they piss me off go root for another team. I don't I just can't do that. Like well, the see, Falcons see, the Falcons have reaction. let me down. The Falcons have let me down. Like I understand yeah. you as a Detroit Lions somewhat okay. fan, you understand somewhat the, the <laughs> You under, Don't let that you go under, by. she said somewhat. <laughs> you understand <laughs> I know you understand defeat. I know you understand disappointment, but Falcons fans do too, for sure. Not more than you cannot Lions. debate that. You can, but but it, it ain't no it ain't no no competition. I'm just saying I understand nah, right. disappointment, right. <laughs> but but I I am diehard Falcons. I'm not gonna go root for another team because the Falcons <clears throat> aren't doing what I want them to do. I'm not. You gonna know what? Do that. I was a diehard Lions fan. And guess what happened? I died hard. <laughs> Several times. You don't think you don't think, you don't think I died? You don't think you don't think I died in February? And he don't understand yeah, that. He yeah. don't understand okay, that Vicky. I haven't, he I've don't never understand seen them even listen win a playoff listen game. Listen no, though, Vicky. Listen no, Vicky. But guess what though? But guess what? Go ahead. Go ahead. What? <laughs> this is what he don't understand. He always bring up that 0 and 16 team, which it's okay. You don't the difference in between that 0 and 16 team. Team and the 2017, well, 2016, 2017 Falcons is because we had hope. We had exactly. hope, and we got exactly. fucking. Pummeled. Do you know? I rather. Do you know? I rather. I rather lose. I rather lose like shit. Like get our ass 
Memphis beat during the regular season playoff, whatever, then go all the way, go all the way to the Super Bowl. All and the way. Not, not, only, not only do we go to Super Bowl, we have it in our hands for three quarters. We have it. We ha- It's right there in front of us. And then literally snatched away at the last second. That Dang. hurts. That- if you go back three, four podcasts ago, I said that exact same thing. <laughs> oh, my gosh. I said that exact same thing, Tone. Can you believe that? Man, I I know what y'all are saying, but at least y'all have been there, man. That goes back to the quote, is it better to have loved and lost than to never have loved at all? <laughs> okay. Whatever, bro. What I've never loved, man. I would have I wish I could have been to the Super Bowl, even if we would have been up and lost. That's the, but we just, you know we, what that means? We weren't just that means up. I would have seen a playoff win. We That's weren't what that just up, mean. I would have still had we something weren't to look just forward to, up, man. Though. Y'all are great. No, I think we're we're losing we're losing the essence of the conversation. The conversation isn't who has been disappointed, you know, like worse, who's been more disappointed. The conversation is I've been disappointed, but I'm still a Falcons fan. Yeah, yeah, because y'all don't understand the mind frame of a Lions fan. That's the problem with Well, there are I guarantee there are some Lions fans out there that are still Mm. fans, even despite everything y'all been through. They're still diehard Lions fans. That's just like the woman who stay in abusive relationship and man, man too. We, well, anyway, oh, look, as a woman, as a woman, we're not about to compare football to an abusive. No, relationship. you're right. You're right. That was a little. <laughs> that was a little overkill. But it was just talking about like emotionally how I feel over the years. Like they build me up so much. I, I get, I get, <laughs> I get so much hope in the Lions, and then every year, every year they let me down. Every well, year. Well, you'll be Racing. fine. We'll be fine. You'll be fine. All right. Uh, it's don't the, tell me I'm because right, I'm not. I'm not gonna be fine. Okay, so we had a quarter point in the season, and uh, basically, what I really care about is: Are y'all satisfied so far? Um, I think I am. I'm not satisfied. There we go. Just blurt it out. I'm not satisfied, <laughs> but I'm not. I'm not. Not too. Um, I'm not giving up though. I'm not satisfied, but I'm not giving up. I, I know it's still early. I think we do have, of course, no one has to. That's that's not even debatable. We do have the potential to kind of turn around. I don't like. Yeah, we have our wins, but I feel like we've kind of barely held on to our wins lately. And I don't want to win that way every single game. So, yeah. Um, so yeah, overall, I'm not satisfied, but also I'm not like I don't feel defeated because we. I know we can. We can turn it around. Okay. Home. I'm very satisfied. I had the line going seven and nine this season. So <laughs> with this first quarter, yeah, I'm. I can't but not complain. only with y'all teams though. Y'all satisfied with the rest of football? Oh, um, you know what? Football is like kind of. It's like weird right now when you look it at who's all. When you look weird. at who's all leading their divisions right now. It's. I mean, with that being with that alone, yes, I am satisfied because I I know how I am. Just me as a person, I get bored with like repetition, so I I yeah. do like seeing different teams who you would not you ever like expect the lead Pacers. their division. You like seeing the Pacers two and two and and oh, the Buffalo of course. Bills winning their division. Do, do you got what during off season? Do you know how many people kept? You remember? I remember during the summer having my TV she on ESPN and get and getting yes, irritated. Anyway, getting irritated, <laughs> getting irritated and annoyed and turning my TV off because all day I kept hearing people saying Patriots going 16 and 0. Yeah. Patriots are better than ever. Tom Brady may be 40, but on he, paper, they he, supposed he, to be, though. On paper, they were. Right. That's what I'm, so I, I love. I love seeing them being 2 2 right now. That's great. <laughs> you satisfied with the lead tone? Um, yeah, I like I like a shake up, man. I like seeing the Bills the top the AFCs. That's great. Um, the Lions, that came out of nowhere. I like to see that, of course. If you, you know, listen never... to me, it wouldn't have came out of nowhere, but go ahead. Man, what a, whatever, dude. You're not <laughs> You're not an expert. But anyway, I am an expert, though. I the am. The NFC West. I'm the football guy. 49ers, they never disappoint. Cleveland, they never disappoint either. So no matter how much <laughs> things change, some things change, stay the same. And um, – the Giants, that was a surprise for me. The Giants are that. a surprise. The Giants are definitely a fucking surprise. I did not have them going on for. But uh like you said, like you said, open up the podcast. I'm sorry to cut you off, but I'm gonna cut you off anyway. 
like you like you asked me <laughs> like you asked me in the beginning of the podcast, uh did I expect the Kansas City Chiefs to be four and oh? No, I did not. Yeah. But I did have them atop of their division. I did have Oakland third in that division. And so far, what I had is it's true so far. What I had is true so far. Um, I did not have the Carolina Panthers going three and one either. But I didn't also have the freaking Detroit Lions going three and one in these first four games. But I also did have what an league. asterisk, <sighs> nigga. Shut y'all up. know it. Shut y'all up. know it. But anyway, I, I didn't have them going y'all three and never one. Admit it, but y'all know it. I didn't have them anyway. going three and one. I had them going zero and three to start the season, but I did also have them winning ten games this season. But we'll see. We'll see. I probably still do got them winning ten games. Never know. Never know. We got a whole lot of season left. Uh, we got a whole lot of season left. Point blank. Period. Cool. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, what else we got? Vicky, you got something? With the NFL? Um, well, okay, I want to talk about fan base because I know we kind of touched on it earlier, uh, calling out Tom about his, you know, situation. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He got a situation. But, um, <laughs> but, <it's, laughs> but no, um, so I was looking at, well, let me rewind. Actually, this past Sunday, I was actually highly pissed because, um, yeah, we lost and I was frustrated because of that. But that's, anyway, of course I was pissed about that. But I was frustrated because I saw so many so-called Falcons fans just dogging our team out. Like, not not like how a fan would, like, oh, my God, we suck right now. We need to get it together. I'm talking, like, Falcons fans saying, Falcons fucking suck. Matt Ryan is trash. I fucking, I ain't doing this shit no more. I'm I heard somebody, I, team. I seen somebody say today on AJC that Julio needs to be traded. I was like, I heard, I heard that. That too. I actually saw that twice. I saw two. For those comments. of y'all that don't know, and I know Tony don't know, AJC is uh, the Atlanta Journal Constitution. It's the it's the newspaper. Uh, <laughs> but <laughs> but uh, definitely didn't uh, know that. <laughs> but <laughs> but no. So I um anyway. So that that's what's kind of like sparking this right now. I was just so frustrated. I like like went I went on like a rant. I know you you probably saw it on my Instagram. I went on like a rant calling out fake Falcons fans because even when your Falcons, when you even when your team loses you still gotta stand by your team. You like, still that, do that's, tell that's, them that's say it again the for the people in the back. You don't own them say it again say it again for the people in the I, back. <laughs> even when your team loses <laughs> you still have to stick with your team. You that's the I feel like that's the oh, essence of being a fan. Anyway, when your team sucks and your team doing bad, you still stand by your team. You still wear those colors. So anyway, um ironically after my little rant against fake Falcons fans, I saw this like ranking thing going on when they were ranking like best fan bases of NFL teams to the worst. And I wanted to, um, before I give you, I'm not going to go through all 32 teams. I'm not doing that. But before I um, give you like some of the teams places on the countdown, I wanted to ask you guys, what, who do you guys think is the worst fan base as far as the NFL team and the best? Well, go ahead. Like, Tom. I'm going to let you go ahead. Right man. now, like, Probably all overall. T- Are we talking about overall yeah, it's, it's all just, time general, or right now for this just, season? Just, just in general, just just the, the culture of a team, like the culture that of the the team's I'm fans. A, like I'm who do you think honest. has the strongest fan base? I'm gonna be real with y'all. What? With the number one, that number one team, I would think is a toss up between Seattle and the New York Jets. What you think, Tom? Hmm. I'm gonna go with. It's probably between my second team, the Cheeseheads, or Green Bay, as y'all know them, and uh, <laughs> probably America's team, the Cowboys. No, I don't think Dallas is up there. I think it's the Jets. I think it's the Jets to Seattle. Are we what talking is... about? Are, are we talking about like the the favorites or the least favorite? The right now we're talking about the the team the, with the best uh, fans. The big, the big, okay, the okay. best yeah, fans. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. All and right. when I say I best fans, I mean showing up to games, even traveling yeah. to away games. Oh, yeah. the Don't Jets. matter if they win. The Don't Jets. matter if they win or lose. You nah, still cheer the on Jets the same team. Oh, go ahead with it. Go ahead, number one. <laughs> ahead. So wait, no, and no, I want to hear y'all's worst too. Who do you think is the worst? Oh, the worst <laughs> are probably the Chargers. <laughs> yeah, I was gonna say the Chargers. That team or is, or maybe like the Rams. Nah, nah, definitely not the Rams. The Rams got not a good fan base. The Rams got a good fan base. Uh, not the LA Rams, but the St. Louis Rams. They yeah, I'm talking base. about the LA Rams. <laughs> they got a good fan base. I would think. I would think it's the Chargers, or no, just the Chargers. Okay. Um. Well, 
tone, you're you're pretty spot on. <laughs> Number oh, one is Cowboys. And really? uh, yeah, I'll do the top five actually. Top five, like as fan bases from five to one. Five is Broncos, then there's Steelers, then there's Packers, Patriots, and Cowboys. And then the worst five, um, let's see, the Buccaneers, Titans, Jaguars, Chargers, and very last, dead last is Rams. But, mm. but um, the Falcons, for my Falcons fans out there, we are out of 32 teams, we are number 24, and I need us to work on I that agree. shit. I agree. I agree. That shit's pissing I agree. me off. Can I, can I please? Oh, my gosh. I agree with that so We're much. The we, We're the I, I'm a little I'm a little frustrated because <laughs> we have this. And I, and I feel like now, now now you have more now you have more amp to be more of a Falcons fan or just show more of your fanhood. We got this beautiful, gorgeous new stadium. Tone we have, like, I feel like the, the, the culture so the culture of sports of Atlanta is like it's getting better in my opinion. We have our little soccer team now, whatever. But as far as Falcons specifically, I'm a need for y'all, whoever's from Atlanta is a Falcons fan who's listening. I need for y'all to do better because next year I want to be in top ten, not, not no damn twenty four. We ain't gonna be in top ten. What the Lions at? Uh, sir, sir. Yeah, where are we the not, Lions? We're not, and I'm gonna get to that. The Lions in a are Lions are twenty. Oh. <laughs> All right, so. If you, I don't know if you notice things like this, but I do. And when I'm watching the Falcons games, a lot of those seats be empty. A lot of them. A lot of Not them. Not this last game. That second half. Well, uh, yeah, I believe it was, Vicky, though, for real. No, for real. no, we had, no, 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 no. We have like 75,000, I think, seats, and I think 73,000 of them were taken up. That's really? Good. That is surprising. No, 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 no. You need to you need to go back and look because if that week, the week before this game, <clears throat> we opened up standing room only. We opened up standing room only because a lot of those fans in Atlanta can't afford those seats. That's that's the thing about it. I mean, Arthur Blank. He, God, God bless the man. The man is a great dude, but. We we have the cheapest concessions in the league, right? Yeah, that's and, a great that's a great <clears throat> program. But but those seats price fans out. I read a I read an article on it to uh, to open up the season. Those seats are priced are very high. I don't know how true it is because I'm not looking up uh, Atlanta Falcons tickets right now. But I believe like a lot of those seventy three thousand people. Of course, most of them were in seats, but a lot of them were standing up too because we got a lot of standing room in Mercedes Benz. I've seen that, but maybe, maybe, uh, maybe you're right. But I really believe I'm. No, right. I don't think. I think. I think the. Um, no, I don't think the price has anything. Like the actual price has anything to do with it. I think it's more so. I read earlier that they have this weird rule where you can't buy a single ticket; you can only buy them by like season twos. tickets. Yeah, and you, but yeah. but I heard that they're trying like they're gonna change that because of like the the negative backlash on that. Yep. If that changes, I think it'll be better. But I think I don't know. I think the ticket sales are fine in my opinion. I do agree though that I I hate how because I've been to a few games and I hate how if we're losing, um, people leave and oh, I hate they gonna that leave. Shit. Stay, stay for happens. the whole damn yeah, game. Like happens. stay for the. I hate that though. That's so mean. <laughs> That's the girl in me talking. That's you're, so mean. You're Stanford too good of a fan, you know. The NFL does not deserve you, okay? They don't <laughs> listen. <laughs> Hit this dude going his uh, little rant thing. Fans, here we go. Listen, fan, fans don't Vic, owe Vicky, teams stand any by, loyalty. Stand by, stand by. I'm not even about oh, yes, the rant. They... I'm, I'm not even about the rant. The NFL, as a fan, let's just let's just look at the NFL for what it really is. It's here a go, business. Here we go, here we go. The players will tell you that. And as a fan, you need to realize that as well. You know, when you're not producing enough as a player, you could be a fan favorite. They will cut you, they will trade you. It doesn't matter. And as a well, fan, I'm not out there. I'm not out there for a player. I'm out there for my city. You're out there for your I'm team. I'm out there for the but team. Yeah. This is the city. this is the disconnect that we have with sports here that it doesn't even apply to anything else. Where else? In your life, if something is continuously shitty, it's a bad product. <laughs> it's a bad service. And think of your cell phone. <laughs> Every time you try to call somebody, it drops. Anytime you try to send a text, it never sends. Are you going to keep on being with that company? 
I don't think you can compare that. You can't. It's not the same, it's a bro. Product. It's, it's a not product. the same. You're though. going to the game. You're spending your money on this product but, but, because but, it's a business. I, but Sprint. But I didn't. I wasn't born in. Like I wasn't born and raised Sprint. in Sprint. I was born and raised <laughs> in Atlanta. <laughs> right. Like I have a little bit more of a tie to Atlanta than Sprint. I understand that, and I understand that, but I mean, like, for we me, as being Sprint. born in Detroit, <laughs> what did you say? We all love Sprint for some reason, but anyway, no. go ahead. Go ahead, B. Bro, Wait, who are you with? I'm with Sprint, too, <laughs> goddamn. Oh. But anyway, Tom, go ahead. Tom with Sprint, so, too. He ain't going to tell you, but go ahead, Tom. Yeah, I am with Sprint, because I was trying to stay on <laughs> subject, <laughs> be a professional. Go ahead, but, dude. <laughs> but... Being a Lions fan all my life, I've I've got a shitty product, so I don't feel like I I owe them any loyalty because what have they done for me? They've never done anything for me. <laughs> he sounds so hurt. He is hurt. He's he's one hurt individual. He's so he's so hurt. But he always get on to me about calling him doc, oh, calling me Doctor Phil and shit because I care about his feeling and shit. I don't want you to be hurt, bro. I don't want you to be hurt. The Lions got to do better, and they got to do no, something to, to show me that it's real. Inside. Stop rooting for the Lions. About your, you, you talking about your loyalty and shit? Stop rooting for them. Stop I've rooting gotta, for them. That like service. Yeah, I was that born service, here. That, no, I, no, I no, still no, no, got no. an attachment to them. I don't want. I don't want them to lose, but I know that they will. <laughs> That's. I right. think you. I think. I think you just need to make a decision: either be a Lions fan or not. Like, make be it right a here, Lions right now. fans or be, don't be one. Right here, right now. Right here, right now. Because I'm gonna be a right Lions right fan. I'm gonna be a oh, Lions fan, pussy no matter boy, what. Bro. What? You're a pussy what did boy. You say, dog? You're a pussy out of here, dog. Bro, Look out of here, man. We need to start that. Ah, let's move on with this let's fan. Shit. Yeah, let's move because on. Because a fan, what is that? Sort of, a fanatic. That's what that's short for. You're crazy. You're not even thinking right. Is Ray Lewis a fan? <laughs> is Ray Lewis a fan of uh, standing up? Is he a fan of kneeling, bro? That's what I want Ray to talk about right Ray now. Ray Lewis is a traitor, is what he is. Tell me why. <laughs> because when <clears throat> Colin Kaepernick started with his protest last season, Ray Lewis was one of the most outspoken individuals talking about how he shouldn't be doing it, how it's disrespectful, this and that. And yet, and yet he was out there on both knees, locked arms. Saying that he was praying, I believe it doesn't matter. But it doesn't matter because initially he was so adamantly against it that all that stuff that he's saying now does not even matter, man. What made you change your mind and flip the script 180 degrees now? Is it because it's the cool thing to do? It's the popular thing now to care? I believe you need we... to go ahead, Robert. Go ahead, draw man. your line in the sand, and that's it. That's all I got to say about that. I don't I, believe Ray Lewis, man. I, I do kind of a lot of bit believe Ray Lewis. And uh, I've not on this, not on podcast, but uh, I said not on podcast, not, <laughs> not on HCD. I'm, I'm really not a Ray Lewis fan, right? I've, I don't like Ray Lewis, right? I never have, never will, right? He the only dude, never mind. But uh, I don't like the dude. But some, some for some reason, something is telling me to believe that dude right now. If I mean, he said he got on his knees and prayed and blase blase. I mean, I kind of believe him. I mean, I don't know why, but it's just this gut feeling I have <laughs> to say, Jerry, don't believe these niggas. Like I call it bullshit. Exactly. <laughs> I don't believe. Wow. It. Why y'all don't believe this dude, bro? Like, why he got a lot of you? <laughs> <laughs> Excuse me, but that's the thing about it. Like, I don't, I will believe, like, I will believe you if you tell me some shit. Like, it just certain. He already shit told you. Tone. He already told Can you. Can I finish? Can I finish? Yeah, yeah. That's the bad. thing about me, bro. It. And you know this, Tone. I will believe you if you don't have a reason to lie to me. Like, you don't have a reason to lie. Like, what's your reason to lie? I mean, he kind of do got a reason to lie because social exactly. media, social media, gonna, social, media social media is going to eat that dude alive. But God damn, you're a grown man, bro. You better take that fucking heat. Uh, social media is real for people, man. People oh, adopt there is, it. Man. It's funny. There's a petition out for him to, um, for them to remove statue. his statue. Yeah, he had over 50,000 signatures in the first couple of days. Yeah, yeah. Dude. Now it had, now it has almost 80,000. Wow. Y'all sign it? Y'all just, y'all the type of niggas that sign that shit. Y'all sign it? Y'all ain't even got shit I to do with it. I'm, I'm, right not, this I'm not in Baltimore. Y'all ain't got to, y'all ain't got shit to do with Baltimore, but y'all would sign that shit. Just get ready. No, I wouldn't ass sign that, man. Yeah. I don't, his statue is about what he did on the field, man. He didn't kill anybody. 
He's yes, not he up. <laughs> Wait, what did he say? <laughs> he said, he said, <laughs> he said he didn't kill nobody. Yes, he did. Yes, the fuck he did. Don't you ever say that shit to him again, because I know you don't believe it. Yes, he did. You know what? I said that without thinking. You know, people people say that like a saying. Like, he didn't do anything that bad. He didn't kill anybody. He didn't hurt anybody. <laughs> oh, he didn't do no harm. But no, nigga, that shit is real. He really did kill somebody and got away with it. The fuck? Fuck out of here, bro. Allegedly, bro. That was never proven in court, wow, man. My nigga never him. proven my nigga in court, him, bro. bro. Um, but you're silly. <laughs> <laughs> what? Uh, let's get off this NFL shit, man. What else we got, Vicky? Do you know? Do you know we got? What's it, what? What else we got? Because I'm confused. Too. I think Tom. Yeah, Tom will know. Why you calling me out? <laughs> <laughs> I, was, I was about to let you run with it. No, what um, do we got? Somebody tell Ray, me. Ray Lewis. I don't know, man. I just hold on. Let's, you ever heard let's, that let's saying? When someone Ray shows Lewis. you who they are the first time, believe them. He already told mm. you who he I was. Felt that in my spirit, <laughs> yes. <laughs> He, he already told oh, you who no, he you was the not. first time. No, so, believe that dude, bro. Believe that dude. Believe. Why? That. Why? I no, you know, I, I want to get... any reason to show us why we should believe. It's him. my gut. We it's got my gut. It's my gut, bro. I'm telling you, like something telling me to believe that dude. I could be wrong. I hope. Hopefully, I'm right though. You're not right. It's like when I'm right, I'm right. When I'm wrong, I could have been right. Man. He's an opportunist. Call him what you want to call him, Tone. Call him opportunist. That's what you want to call him. Call him <laughs> that. I wasn't, wasn't going to say that. I wasn't going to say call that. Call him what you want to call him. Call him what I you want to call him. I got to use that. I really got to use that. Good. I didn't make that take up. take credit for that. I didn't make, I didn't make what, nigga? <laughs> you could take credit for that. No, I just told I wasn't you. Gonna say, I, just told I wasn't going to say that on the podcast. No, nah, I don't give a fuck what we at. I'm going to call him what I'm going to call him what you want to call him, goddamn. <laughs> But uh, what's that next subject? Are, these, are we concluding uh, Ray Lewis right now? Oh, no, no, no. That Ray Lewis actually ties right into what we we're going to go with next with the politics and sports being intertwined. And is is there a way to go back? How is this national anthem thing going to end? Is it going to end? And how is it going to end? It's it's going to end because it's going to get tiring and people, people are going to soon forget about it. I mean, if you look at it before, but that that gap – between uh the end of last season and before Donald Trump said uh uh fire them niggas uh I mean that's what he said for real uh if you look at that gap between that like people weren't really doing it except for Michael Bennett and Marsh well Marshawn Lynch don't really count because he wasn't there but Michael Bennett and Marcus Peters from the uh, Chiefs. And that was really it. Those were really the only and uh and Jenkins from uh Philadelphia. Those are the only people that were really doing it and really know yeah. why they were doing it. And yeah. when everybody else does it now, I'm just like, get the fuck out of here, bro. You just doing that shit just to be cool. You just doing that shit to get on on TV. Just like Jerry Jones. Like, I'm gonna call that nigga out him personally. Jerry Jones, <laughs> right? I believe it was Monday night or Sunday night football. I forget who they were playing, but it was the first game they kneeled before the anthem. There's a tape, because you know TMZ has everything. Jerry Jones himself, when they were on the field, he went and found, went and grabbed the cameraman and said, get this shot. He grabbed the cameraman and told them, get this shot, because we finna kneel. And they kneeled. And that cameraman got you. You, you seen that picture on, on uh, Instagram? Oh, yeah, it's, it's and him, all about the unity. Him, him smiling and looking in the camera, like, yeah, nigga, we 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 doing this for you. You know what I'm saying? Like, don't <laughs> don't don't be that way. Be who you really are. But I don't think this shit this shit is gonna die down uh, soon. Not soon. I don't know how soon, but it's gonna die down. Just give it time. Give it time. Yeah, I I think it is gonna die down. I don't um I don't know. The the doing it to be cool thing. I'm not sure if they're doing it to be cool. But I do think they're they doing are. it for. I, I do think they're doing it for the wrong reasons. But I don't think it's to be cool because some of them nice. are losing endorsements and jeopardizing their endorsements for it. And I, I don't think they'll put money over. I mean, putting being cool over money. But I do. I think they're doing it because of just that that ego shit. I think they're just mad at how our president is acting. I think they're mad at how just the just our. The state of our country right now, I think that's their way of showing anger, which even though like I disagree with the being cool thing, I still I still disagree with that. That's the that's the route that they're choosing 
women to express their frustration with the country because it is like tainting the original call, like the original reason for doing it. But I do think it's going to die down because they're not, they're not going to do this. I, I highly doubt they're going to do this every single game. Like, like it's, it's going to die down. People are going to end up standing or they or they might make it into a thing where you just lock arms. Like that just might be the thing now, but I don't, I don't think this is going to, I don't think this is going to last too much longer. <clears throat> Well, I mean, I guess that's to be determined because before 2009, no one was even standing for the National Anthem at NFL games anyway. That's until we so, paid them motherfuckers to do it. Right. That ex- exactly. So, I mean, it could all go away entirely. And I feel like that might be for the best because really nobody's there for the National Anthem. People are there just to watch their football. Let's take the politics all the way out of it. Wow, I, never, I agree. I do agree with that. That's crazy. I ain't never think about taking the national anthem all the way out of it. But now, see, now you're ruining my chance to get into a game free. Now I'm lying. I'm, not, <laughs> I'm, I'm kind of serious. Wow. I'm kind of serious because you're ruining my chance to get in the game free. Because I can I mean, post, if NFL cause I can go in there. I can go in there and post colors. You in there free anyway. I can go in there and post colors before the game. You know what I'm saying? Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, you know how those people be. You know how the four people be on the field, the, the military people. Cause I'm I'm literally one of those people that can get that can do that, you know. See now you're ruining my chance getting to a game free. No, I'm just bullshit. That's on the NFL though, man. I'm just bullshit. Cause they really supporting our people and our servicemen. Let y'all in for free anyway. They They don't need to get paid for for free. They not. Do you think? Do you think the NFL would ever just like make a rule and be like, you have to stand? Period. If Roger Goodell, if Roger Goodell don't want to get pummeled on social media, he would, but. He ain't gonna do that. He gonna get. He's gonna get pummeled either way. If he does that, he would right. get. He would get destroyed either way. Destroy. End of. Roger it would be Dale. better to just take it out to just eliminate that possibility and just go back to what was before two thousand nine. They haven't even been standing for ten years, man. You can go back. It yeah, only is like sure. this because of money. So let's just take it away. Problem solved. Um. Transition from that. Speaking of. Uh, the flag and everything y'all i just read an article today it ain't when i say i read let me let me get let me say this right now when i say i read an article i seen that shit on instagram all right so i'm gonna start <laughs> <on this. laughs> that's sad I, I see that shit on instagram all right unless i said i seen it at ajc but because i really had to see this shit at ajc but when i when i read this shit on instagram and it said that the lakers are uh planning to protest the national anthem all year and the wow. the NBA has a rule that y'all has got to stand. So what y'all think? What, what how do you think uh, Adam Silver's? Because we know the some of the league is gonna kneel anyway. I know J.R. Yeah, Smith right. is gonna do it. I know J.R. Smith is gonna do it because like the shit I just posted on the shit he posted on Twitter the other day. He said, "Yeah, right. when the <laughs> league sent, the, the league sent out that notice saying, "Hey, y'all niggas got to stand," and he said, "Yeah." Right. So we know some people are gonna some people are gonna sit or kneel, but uh, that's gonna be that's gonna be interesting to watch starting October seventeenth. That's gonna be interesting to watch because I'm very I'm gonna be in tune with that to see what's going on. You know what is I'm saying? They, did they send out a memo or is that actually a rule? Did they say it's an encourage to stay in or y'all? No, nah, that's a stand? rule. That's a rule that they. And have what to happens stand. if they don't? I don't know. I don't. I'm, I'm not in the NBA. I mean, I thought if you, oh, you, I was going to say you didn't read the article. <laughs> That's why you don't know. What I don't happens. know. I don't know what happens if they stand. I mean, if they uh, deal. But we'll see. We'll see. Goddamn, in three weeks. So, uh, yeah. Speaking of the NBA, since y'all ain't going to talk. No, I actually started getting on my Google to see if I could find out yeah, what happened. Yeah, I mean, my, my views about that, my views about that are the same about the NFL. Like, it's, it's the same thing. I, I don't. I don't know people. I mean, if, if people are going to kneel anyway, like just being real, let's be real. People are going to kneel. Some people are, some people aren't. And it's going to cause the same bit of commotion. There's going to be people. Oh, I don't support the Cavaliers anymore. I don't, you're disrespecting our country. There's going to be people fussing back yeah. at, at those people. Like it's going to be the same thing, just a different sport. So it's not really much to say. Yeah. And silver said he's not going to find people, even though he has the, Right to do so, the authority to do oh, so, well, but he's not it. gonna find anyone. Everybody kneeling. gonna be kneeling, bro, because that shit is cool. Everybody gonna be doing it. I'm telling you, everybody is. Watch. But now, too, after this Vegas incident, I feel like there's gonna be extra pressure on people who kneel because people, there's gonna be like this 
um, pseudo message of unity now. That has nothing. You know to, how that has no ties to each other. Though. No, it does though. But it does. To, to, that's going to be a narrative. Like the nation You're needs right. to be coming together at this kind of moment and all this kind of stuff, and they're still kneeling. That shows you that they have no respect for the country. You're and... so <laughs> right. Yeah, I, I agree. It doesn't have any ties. They shouldn't put two into the other, they but shouldn't. they will, though. But they you will. know that they will. They and, definitely and that's will. That's what I don't understand. Like, they they try to put this shit, they try to tie so much stupid shit together. Uh, the military hates for y'all to kneel. No, the fuck we don't. <laughs> exactly. No, the fuck we don't. You do whatever right. you want to do. Unless your ass been to war. Uh, I, the only people that I can say will be heard about are those people that went to Afghanistan. Those people that went to Iraq. All right, cool. If they got something to say about it, all right, cool. That's their opinion. But Jerry, right. Williams, Jerry Williams, you kneel all you want to. You kneel all you want to, brother. <laughs> But uh, right. Neil, you can stand. Own, it doesn't have, matter, right? And I have a ton of family who went to Afghanistan and Iraq, and I asked all of them. They all said the same thing you just said. I don't care. They can do what they want to do. So yeah. <laughs> it is what it is. Um, we try. Uh, so I think that's a wrap on that subject. <laughs> yes. I feel like Goodness. um, uh, I want, I want to, to the NBA because that's the season's kicking off. To uh, Levar Ball is some kind of fucking way. But I just couldn't think of nothing to say off the top of my head. But <laughs> I'm gonna just dump right. I'm gonna just jump right into it. Lavar Ball is Ball Z. All right. Um, oh wow! <laughs> what a segue! I'm, man. Gonna, just, I'm gonna just jump right into it. You write right this yourself, bro? It. Yes, I got it written down. I will take a picture of it. I will send it to you, both of you guys. Uh, hold up, before I go to that, Tony, did you just say Young Dolph song I sent to you? No. All right. Uh, anyway, Lavar Ball is Ball Z, goddamn. <laughs> so, Lavar, if for those of y'all that don't know, Lavar Ball decided to take his youngest son, Lamelo, out of Chino Hills. Uh, Tone, <clears throat> I text you about this, and you said, you said, uh, why not? Why do you say why not, brother? Because I strongly you know disagree. What? We know I strongly what disagree. Lamelo's future holds for him. He's not about to be a rocket scientist. He's not about to be a physician or a chemist. That man is about to play professional basketball for a living. He doesn't need to go to school. No matter what, he's going to be okay. All of these two years that he has left, he's going to be making money off of his shoes as the first high school player to have his own shoes. He's going to be training around the clock, working with different basketball players coaches across the country he's going to be playing in different basketball leagues then if he doesn't go to the ucla if the ncaa decides that the homeschooling route doesn't work for them he's still going to have money and he's just going to go play overseas for a year and still end up in the nba this is a win-win situation for lamello and lavar because he doesn't really need school he's not Mm. he's not he's not (laughs) He's not going to be a professional. He's not going to be in corporate America. He's going to play basketball for a living. So, so the sooner only... he can get to that, the better off he'll be. <laughs> um, so only if you're going to be in corporate America, school is important? Well, you're going to school so you can get a degree, so you can make a living in that field that you're getting a degree for. He ain't going to school to get a degree. Exactly. So why is he <clears throat> even going but to he, school? I, I can see that he's isn't he? He's sixteen, right? He's sixteen. Yeah. Let that boy like finish. Like, what is education not valued anymore? <laughs> like, that's the I problem understand. with America. Goddamn, I'm told wow. it's gonna be. <laughs> wow, now, now, now that's, that's the, you saying that. That's the problem. Just, with I mean, America. I feel like I feel like it's a, no. I'm gonna say what I got to say. Lord, after this. Go ahead. I feel like a lot of it is just no offense, guys, but it's it's male ego. I'm sorry. Like, I I feel like male ego has a lot to do with a lot. <laughs> that we talk about just in general, but no, yeah, he, sure. it's, it's, that's totally annoying that. though. Like you going to, you got mad cause the coach didn't, didn't, didn't kiss your ass. So you mad, I'm pulling my son out of school and we just exactly. train exactly. Like what? But like LeVar I have has no been ca- training tone, those tone, kids, You already talk. 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 Do you realize? But do you realize you can also still like be dedicated to school and your father, who is Levar Ball, right. still train you. Like you can do both. You know, I real. I feel like he just. And plus, we know we know who Levar Ball is. We know how his personality is. We know how he just is extra as hell. Oh, that's my opinion of him. Well, of course, he got. Wait, wait, wait. That that talk. doesn't. But that doesn't. That don't. So he doing that has, some right. Can you stop talking? Because I, I want to talk right. after Vicky. <laughs> Goddamn, stop that, talking. That's literally, 
But that's literally that. That's so irrelevant to that. That's irrelevant to the point. Yes, he has a Laker. Great, congratulations. But also, you have a you have a kid that's sixteen years old in high school. You got in your feelings. You got in your feelings because the coach said whatever. I read I read a whole bunch of stories about what the coach said. I don't I know what's true. That not, article. But but, <laughs> but you got in your feelings because the coach wasn't wasn't I guess on your team. You got mad because the coach wasn't kissing your ass. Yeah, yeah, and yeah, now your yeah. reaction. Now your reaction is I'm pulling my son from all all public or private yeah, 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 yeah. schools, and I'm a, and I'm a, and I'm a trainer myself, and I'm a, I'm a, I'm gonna teach him at home. Because the I'm coach a said he was changing home. the plan. Hey, bro, hey, bro. I feel like I feel like Vicky is uh, Floyd Mayweather in the seventh round against Conor McGregor, bro. She fired <laughs> up like, like an ass. Like, <laughs> I can't. I, I cannot. <laughs> but no, no, no. I, the thing, the thing is, yes, everything you said, Tom, I do agree with. Yes, he is most. He is gonna be. He's gonna play basketball. He's gonna be set. I mm. guess, quote unquote, set for his life he's gonna be fine money's not gonna be an issue but that does not take away that let him graduate high school at a like let him graduate like let him he's gonna or, graduate or, he's gonna get homeschool homeschool I, you know i don't want to say my 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 true mindset people get on home, homeschool. don't say it because people I don't, get, I don't wanna, some of our listeners may have been homeschooled that, that, that's so. and i want you to say it just <laughs> cut it just for saying. them i want you to say it just for them say what you want to <laughs> say don't don't get behind this microphone and be this, scared. This, 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 say this, what this, you want to say. Thing. This is the thing. I, I have my own my own personal views on homeschool, but besides that, he didn't. He's not. He's not making him being. Home, okay, wait. Rewind. There are people who are being homeschooled because they genuinely feel like being homeschooled is the best situation for them. They've been homeschooled most of their life anyway. Don't pull your kid out to be homeschooled now because your you and your feelings over what a coach said. Yes. Like it's two different things. There are kids who are homeschooled because they've been homeschooled most of their life anyway, and their parents feel like that's just the best route for them as a kid. Versus your daddy being high on his horse and getting his ego hurt but by another coach. This could be coach. the best route. Oh, wait, 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 go, open ego, go, go, go. <laughs> That, long story short, I'm just saying it's just two different things. It's two different things from kid, regular kids. If there is somebody listening right now who who was or is being homeschooled, I'm pretty sure there is a real reason why you were homeschooled. There's a real whether it's a social anxiety issue or if it's a disability or if it's a, you just work better in a in a private situation type of case versus your dad being LeVar Ball, no, your dad no. being... Tone, he's wait, wait, dad being wait cocky bro. As no, hell. he does not. Wait, Tom. Your, your dad being cocky as hell and your dad getting in his feelings because he don't like the coach and what the coach had to say about you. And now, right, uh, right, you know, right, I'm right. pulling my kid out and I'm going to teach him my damn self because I all can right, do it better Vic. than y'all can. Okay, Vic, calm down, calm down, calm down. I all am right. calm. I am, <laughs> what? I'm very calm. <laughs> Hey, so before I get into this, Tone, did you realize? Did you realize that last week, around the same time spot, Vicky got round up. She she get round up at at, a, at about the same little time in the in the show. <laughs> Go back last week and look when Vicky really got round up. She got yeah, round don't up. Yeah, don't be don't be dissecting my. <laughs> That's what does. She yeah, yeah, that is what I do. She got she got round up. But anyway, I agree with Vicky one hundred percent. Of course you do. One. Shut your you bitch mean, ass you up, bro. <laughs> Shut your bitch uh, ass up. Bro. Go ahead, man. Go but ahead, the thing man. is, talk that bullshit. <laughs> talk that bullshit. <laughs> Damn. I mean, that's what we do. We hear the bullshit, talk shit, and give shit. That's what we do. But uh, yeah, I agree with her because of the fact that you really got you really got uh up in your feelings because the coach said the coach literally came in there and said, "Melo, all that fifty shot shit you doing every night, that shit is done, cuz." That shit's done. <laughs> that shit's done. That's literally what he said. Not literally, but that's what he said. Like, you, you're not taking 50 shots a game every night. And LeVar got pissed because, like, LeVar, LeVar can't go in there and call the shots with that soft-ass coach that they had before. And he, he was undefeated and who took them to a state championship. <clears throat> that's but, fine. Okay. That's fine. Got but, fired because of politics. That's fine. That's fine. They lost three games in three years. Yeah, I know. I know all of that. But it you the coach, bro, like who's to say to them students, those twelve uh players on that team didn't respect that coach before. But and then like me going in there, me going in there, like I can tie this shit in with the military easy. That's just like me going in there and say, uh, all right, so I want I want y'all twelve people to do this. But you wanna come and tell them, you wanna come in, in my ear and tell them, nah, y'all gonna do it this way. 
and y'all not gonna respect me, bro. You're not gonna respect me. It just it just that simple. You're not gonna respect me. You're not gonna want to listen to what I say because y'all always see Lavar in my ear. No, nah, if I'm that fucking coach, I'm gonna come in there and dictate because that's literally what I'm doing. I'm here to dictate. This ain't a, this ain't a democracy. Y'all not gonna tell me what to do. So I'm gonna go in there and say, hey, Melo, you ain't taking fifty shots. It's fucking eleven other motherfuckers uh, on this damn team that need to shoot, and it's only freaking uh, sixty shots a game. But you want to take fifty of them, and they, and then I, now I got to divvy up ten other uh ten other uh shots for some other somebody else. No, nah, that ain't how that work, cuz. And if you tone, if you have your son playing for that team, you don't, and your son is not named Lamelo, you don't want your team, your son playing on that damn team. Let's be real. If you if you have some if you have some idea that your son can be Lonzo. And I guess I'm saying Lonzo, the one that's a Laker now. If you have some idea that your son can be Lonzo, you don't want your son on that damn team. Vicky, you don't want your son on that damn team because you want your son to take the same amount of equal shots as everybody else. So, yeah, I mean, LeVar, you got a little point. Take take your son out of school. Hopefully he can be good. I mean, I know you're going to be training him around the clock now, but... No, nah, brother, that ain't the way you do shit. Lavar, Lavar is not a good. Okay. Lavar is not a good basketball coach, bro. He's I, not. What? He's, he's not. He's not a good basketball. He's coach, not. He got. He's been he's training his son since they were babies, he's and one of his not. sons is in the national basketball If you basketball think, if you think that Lavar done that all by himself, bro, I gotta, I gotta. He has the tools and the resources and the know-how. He's not. To I'm, get talking the to I'm, talking I'm talking about him. I'm talking about him. I'm talking about him. He's got talking about him. He, it doesn't matter if he knows he, how, if he doesn't he, or, or he does, not a but he knows how to do coach, it. Coach, bro, he's not. He's not a good basketball coach. But he got results. Can 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 Levo, can uh can uh Lamelo be good and being being the pros? Of course he can. Of course he can. But it's a way to do everything, bro. Like that's that's you're not. You're not setting a good example for your fucking kids, brother. You're not. Right, exactly. You're not at all. And I, exactly, and I feel like like Lon, Lonzo graduated from high school right and he's like yeah yeah lavar has a son that's in the like that's a laker now but i don't i don't know scratch all that i but, just feel like is there should be a value on just a kid going finishing school and doing things the right way like i feel it'd be different i would have more respect if he literally just pulled his kid out to be homeschooled because that was just a decision he sat down and like really thought about you know this is the best decision for my son but no that decision he made was it was a reaction of what another person did and I just don't have respect for that. Like, have a one, have a calculated decision that is made based on you. How do you know it was calculated? Because it was a reaction to what it was. It was a reaction, dude. It was a reaction. Listen, but let me take that back. Let me take that back. Let me take that back. What I said before, he might, he, he isn't. I'm not gonna say he isn't setting a good example because of the fact that you see something like me, me as a, uh, as a, what is it? What is it? Your child, right? My my dad. I see what my dad is doing. I see him, so I know what I want. I know what I don't want to be. And I'm gonna take right. I'm gonna take his good qualities from him. He's a great dad. He's a great dad. I mean, but some of the shit he does, I'm just gonna be like, nah, nigga, I don't want that shit. I don't want that shit. But I'm gonna take. But I'm gonna take. From the I'm gonna take that. Dog is every it, it, dude. It don't take a rocket scientist to see that, b. It doesn't. But you don't know. Look, you don't look you don't at really it, Tone. Know what's going on look at stories. it. Look at persona, it, bro. Man. Look at it, bro. The coach said I'm not gonna give you 50 shots. So you said that's fuck a brand that. new coach. You said man. fuck and he can that. Say whatever he wanted you to say. said you got fuck that. Speech, but there's consequences to what you say. And his consequence was he got the number seven best player in the country pulled from his team. That coach didn't have the clout. To come in there and say all of that, oh, fuck Lavar that. Fuck helped that. build that team up. Fuck those that. players you want those, were training with Lamelo and Lonzo you want those, every you want day. Those same over players at LeVar respect house. you. If you he want those same players who respect you, you would do the you know same. You know what Lamelo said? Too. They still gonna be over here training. That's what Lamelo said. Let me see him. <laughs> Let me see him. Show me. Boy, Show they're me. more loyal to Lamelo than the coach. Show me. Show me that they're gonna be over there. Show me. Show me that they ain't. What, show me the one of them, motherfucker. Show me. Show they've me. They've already been. So me. why is that gonna stop? Huh? Lavar was basically <laughs> saying that anybody who was associated with him in his program and anybody who's coming over and training with him, the coach was like, "No, nah, you're not playing with me. You're done with me." But the coach hasn't even earned the right to do that. Chat. What have you done? What What is your resume for you to be coming in and trying to 
throw your weight around like that, man. Work your way up before you start nah, doing bro. all of that. Nah, Lavar is a big mouth, but Lavar Lavar has more results than that new coach does, man. No, bro. The old coach, maybe. No, bro. Why they didn't hire Lavar? Why they didn't hire Lavar to be the head coach then? Why they didn't hire? Why they? Why they didn't hire him as the head coach? If they did, if they would have thought about hiring him, trust me, Lavar got a big enough mouth to tell the United States, "Oh, Tino Hills wanted to hire me. You know what? I turn him down." That's he would say that shit. They didn't hire him. Why they didn't hire him? Why they didn't hire him? Why they didn't hire him? Since he's such a good, a, he since he's such a good, good uh, since he, he shut the fuck up. He's got a lot of, he's got a lot of, he got a big schedule, but he got, he got enough time to pull his kid and personally train him. Like, they would have hired like, him. I don't, <laughs> fuck out of here. LeVar probably isn't personally training his kids. He probably has the people in place to do it. Yeah, of uh, course. Well, I didn't, but I don't know. I don't know. I, maybe so many articles I've been reading saying, he's saying, I'm going to personally train him. That's why I'm he's pulling him out. Say that. Of course, he's gonna say that, but personally, doesn't have to mean hands on. Personally, you can just put the right staff in place. You know, that's it. I'm done. Uh, I'm done. Well, I mean, I, my my bottom line state statement on that issue is, dude doesn't need to go to school because he's gonna make millions playing basketball, and that's fine. Whether that's it's fine. sooner or later, he's still gonna do it. That's it doesn't fine. Matter. That's fine. That's fine. I'm just saying it's a way to do everything, bro. And I and I don't I don't agree with the way Levar Ball did it. Had he done it before, this coach said, "Hey, you're gonna take fifty shots. You're not gonna take fifty shots. All right, cool. If you want to fucking take your son out because of, because you don't feel like he's getting the education that he wants, all right, cool. But anyway, mo- <laughs> moving on. That was a little that was a little uh, a little too much time spent on that. But uh, moving on. What, what else we got closing the show? I don't know, Vicky. Did you have any? Pop Other motion. statement on the LeVar issue. Oh, I'm sorry. Uh, she, she said what uh, she had to say. No, I, I said pretty much everything I got to say. LeVar Ball looked like a big toe. So. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> um, the the NBA, uh, East and West, they have captains now. It's not going to be divided by conference. I actually like that. Because the West is no, super you stacked. Don't. Because you, no, because you, you're not going to watch it either way. You're not going to watch it either way. No, I actually, oh, I actually do watch the NBA All Star Game like the first half until it gets carried away. But yeah, I am gonna watch it, and it'll probably it's more interesting. They shake they shake it up a little bit. It's different than it has like it. been before when the West has always been super good, especially now. So yeah, I, I definitely check it out now. It is what it is. I mean, I mean, I'm still gonna watch it either way. I mean, LeBron and Steph is more like a me LeBron and Steph Curry's teams or LeBron and Kevin Durant's teams. It's gonna be LeBron and Kevin Durant. It'll probably be LeBron and Kevin Durant's team and LeBron. Are, I mean, the best team win. I mean, it don't really matter. It doesn't really matter. It, it's gonna. I mean, be, you don't want to see you gonna get picked. Be, like, damn, they left you out. You a bum. Like, damn. <laughs> no, you got nobody. Picked last, bro. I mean, yeah, somebody's gonna have to get picked last. Somebody's gonna have yeah. to beat Pilas. Those like, those gonna be barely same, made it, dog. Those are the same people that's gonna be the All Star <laughs> reserves. Like same you, the All Star dodgeball. Exactly, but the players are picking you. These are your peers picking you. Yeah, yeah. These are, <laughs> these are your peers saying you're not you're not as trash as what's going on, <laughs> exactly. but you're trash though. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> <You're trash. laughs> yeah, I can see that. I mean, you think you thinking a lot into it, like you always fucking do. But uh, you think a lot into it. But uh, I can see that now. I can see that. It's going to be cool, though. It's going to be cool. I remember uh, the NFL did this. The NFL, that's why I'm really not excited about it. NFL did it. Football is different, though. NFL did it a couple years ago when Michael Irvin and uh, Deion Sanders picked teams. And they're not players. Like, yeah, that's true. Players, that's you know? true. But but still, yet and still, though, if I'm freaking uh, Muhammad Sanu, I go at the freaking Taylor, not Taylor Gabriel, god damn. If I'm Muhammad Sanu, I go to, uh, to Mike Irvin and say, hey, man, you don't think, you picked me last, bro. Like, you think I'm really that trash? Ooh, bro. <laughs> <laughs> Vicky, you got to take on this? Um, I don't. <laughs> All right. I don't. Are you a big NBA fan? Not as much as football, but I'm not going to lie. I'm like... I'm like a baby. I'm like kind of fresh into it now. Before I, before two years ago, I couldn't give a damn about NBA, but I'm I'm slowly getting into it. Okay. Yeah. All right. All right. Cool. Be a Hawks fan, I guess. It is hard to be a Hawks fan, but we gonna get past that. Uh, 
just had to take your shot, didn't See, you? He did. He did. He really did. He really did. <laughs> but but what's the next quick hit? Uh, the Amber Rose slut wall thing? Oh, yeah. Amber Rose. I know you're not listening, but I'm going to act like you're listening. So, Amber Rose. Um, I wish you were more responsible <laughs> with this platform you have. If, if you guys know, the slut walk actually isn't a new thing. That, that People okay. started that. Um, actually, some feminists started that years ago, before I was born. And the original, um, the original reason for starting it was to go against rape culture, to go against the whole thing of like, you know, and it, it, sadly it still happens today, but women being blamed for their rape. Like, oh, what, what, what were you wearing? Or were you drunk? Or um, you said yeah at first, but then once y'all got to the room, you said no, and you can't play with a man's mind like that. Like, there's always some excuse on whatever. So that was the original cause of Slut Walk. And I think I'm just frustrated because I feel like this, I'm good. I'm gonna call Amber Rose a fake feminist because I feel like she's using Ooh. all of that for, yeah, 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 yeah. She's gonna. I think she's using all of this for, um, mostly attention. I feel like she does. She has. She has a little part that I feel like she does have a passion about. As far as like, because every time I watch her in an interview, she's talking about the whole thing. Like, like a girl can sleep with however many, however many men she wants, and um, she's a hoe, but a guy does it, and he's cool. He's this that and I, I understand that argument but don't that she's not she's not like I said long story short she's not using her platform responsibly like if you're gonna go into the whole quote slut walk thing if you're gonna talk about women's rights if you're gonna talk about the double standard she's not I feel like she's not educated enough on the topic because every interview I see of her I, I believe me I used to root for Amber Rose I want her to because I've seen guys drill her, I've seen guys drill her with questions, asking her, you know, what's the purpose of this, and why this, and that, and she doesn't have an answer for it. And it's like, come on, if you're the face of this, this, this movement, be educated on the topic. And I feel like she's not educated on it, and I'm just gonna have to say she is doing it for partially just attention. I'm not gonna lie, because she just she's not using it responsibly. Like if you if anybody knows a real the true, the background and foundation of slut walk, you know, the main thing of it is rape culture. And she does not talk about it at all. Tom. Okay. Okay. Um, I feel like you don't I know what you're saying. You no, 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 dude, don't, don't put, don't put words in my mouth because <laughs> I actually do have something to say. <laughs> so, still up me, bro. But <laughs> at the end of the day, isn't she? raising awareness about these issues and these double standards that women are facing at the end of the day maybe she doesn't have the education required but she does have the platform to at least get the conversation going because she doesn't she she doesn't have to do this slow walk and well, she, she can ahead, do sorry. other things but you know that's basically all i was going to say like at least is she raising awareness we're having this conversation about it right now on this podcast about the things that she's doing does she get any credit for that? Um, no, because I feel like I, <laughs> I'm 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 bringing that up because I actually know what the true the I I know I'm not gonna call myself a feminist because I'm not I'm just I don't label myself as a feminist but I feel like I'm pretty educated on everything that the original slut walk stood for so I can raise awareness to it and also point out things she's not doing but most of the the I guess the national platform she goes on radio, TV, whatever, it's not talked about. Most of the conversations I feel like she's in, she's basically equating sex to power. Like women can have sex and they're powerful almost. And I feel like I don't know. It's, she she's she's putting all her energy into like one part, which which is like I, I don't necessarily agree with the whole sex is power thing. That's how that's how she frames it. Like women can go out and have sex with ten men a day, and she's not this. We're powerful. We have life between our legs. And like, yeah, I agree with that. But also, don't be telling these little girls sex is power because your sex may be power in that aspect, but also sex has a lot of consequences. So that's not. Don't don't put your energy in that. Put your energy into the. If, if you're gonna if you're gonna take the word slut walk, which is the name of the original walk, what they had. I, I wish I knew the name of the person that started it, but I don't. If you're gonna do that, then talk about the true the true meaning behind it. The the true thing is rape culture, which is still a problem to this day. And so, I mean, yeah, people <clears> like 
me who talk about it. Yeah, we're going to bring up the true meaning and then we can educate people. Hey, even though Amber Rose is doing it like this way, know that the true meaning behind it is this. But the, I see her on TV and the radio shows and it's just like the, the interviews. Literally, I feel like my brain is melting. Like there's there's no content. There's no mm-hmm. teaching. There's no nothing. It's just it's weird. I don't know. I, I Like I say, I, I'm not going to sit up here and say Amber Rose doesn't have any true activism in her heart that she's fighting for. But she just needs to, she just needs, she has this platform and she chose this feminism platform. She needs to use it more responsibly, period. Is there only one way to be a feminist? No, not at all. Not at all. Do you and, I'm think... not, and I'm not saying that. And I'm not, I'm, everything I just said isn't saying she should be this way. Not at all. I'm saying if you're going to use the slut walk uh, path, then use that responsibly. But if, if, you're, if your way of feminism is have sex with whoever you want, how many times you want, whatever, whatever, then create your own new avenue for that. But don't use the slut walk avenue to you. promote your shit. Okay. I, I, I can agree with you on that. I wasn't, I didn't even, I wasn't familiar with the original slut walk. Neither, I I. Neither was that. I. You so did. I've got to, I've got to do my own research into yeah. it and find out what it was really started for and all that kind of stuff before I even have a definitive opinion on it. Yep. So I'll have to get back with you next episode mm-hmm. on that one. Same here because, because, uh, I thought Amber Rose was the first person to do this shit. I really did. So. No, 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 no. So but guess, she raised awareness for it. She did. She did. You can't. She you can't raised awareness that. of it probably in the like the the I guess people say the urban, but the black community. But slut walk has already been a thing. Like as mm. as those those real feminists. I'm not gonna say real feminists. So those feminists who are older, those feminists who've been fighting and protesting their whole lives. Ask them. They'll tell you there's been a slut walk before Amber Rose was born. Yeah. All right. I bet you. <laughs> What you about to say? Yeah. What you about to say? Say that. Say that. Ignition. Say I was, it. I was about to say. I bet you they ain't shaved their underarms since the seventies or their legs. No. Uh, uh, anyway. Amber, anyway. Amber Rose is a, Amber Rose is yeah, I, I did see. I did see the Bush Instagram picture. Wow. <laughs> I know that's true. Oh. Hey, you saw it too, bro. Yes, I did. I think you sent it to me. Actually, you? you're a liar. You're a liar. I did not send it. To you. <laughs> <laughs> But anyway, um, <laughs> why y'all bringing up why y'all since since we bringing up the slut water Amber Rose, I got to point out my boy Twenty One Savage was there promoting his lady and uh, not promoting <laughs> but being right beside his lady like I feel supporting like, yeah, her, supporting her, you know. And I feel like every dude should be supporting their lady in whatever endeavors they want to, uh, they want to they want to do. You know what I'm saying? So uh, shout out Twenty One Savage for that. And yes, Vicky, before we start recording this show, Vicky did not know that 21 Savage is my favorite rapper right now. And yes, 21 Savage is my favorite rapper uh, right now. I, I really mean, you added you added the right now. I yeah, that was just no, 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 you got a problem with it? Another episode. It is another. another episode. I was waiting on her to have a problem with it because I want to shut her ass down. No, 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 say, no, I, no, no, no. I love Tia. I was just asking who your favorite rapper was. That's all. All right. <laughs> so we done. We done. We uh, are we finished or we done? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I know. Because I, I think it might be a rap. I mean, I had. It's a rap. It's a rap. Did you have some other We're, shit? We'll I'm pick it up next I'm episode. Sure We've already we had a lot We've of already gave the people because, too much. We can't give we, it all away we, for free. We talk and a lot. And the first story starts in 15 minutes. Exactly. Exactly. <sighs> I, I just gotta want, prepare. I want, I want to keep y'all on here just because it's going to start in 15 minutes. Petty, bro. I know, petty bro. Petty hater. Oh, Petty. Dog, y'all ain't got no room to call me Petty. Neither one of y'all. I'm but, not uh, Petty. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, okay, okay. Um, Since y'all, y'all ain't got nothing else, Tony, you got some? No. I am done. <laughs> Vicky, you got some? Um, no, not really. Just condolences and prayers to Las Vegas to that oh, tragedy. She put us on the spot. Woo-hoo. Uh, yes, condolences to to those that have lost their lives and or lost a loved one in Las Vegas. Uh, I remember this ties into sports a little bit too because uh, uh, Miles Killebrew. Your defensive back, yeah, he's he, a safety. Yeah, 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 
uh, he uh, he had some friends in this in his uh, shooting as well. I don't know if you read that, but I did read it earlier. He had some uh, friends that were harmed. I should say. I don't know if they were killed, but he did. He did know a couple of people. I know, and uh, some people in San Diego that were uh, in it as well. Well, from San Diego that were in it as well. But yeah, condolences. Uh-huh. Uh, so, with that being said, uh, we're gonna end this podcast. Uh, damn, what was, how do I end this shit? Tone like I have to catch <laughs> that shit every fucking week now. Uh, like always, man, we hit the bullshit, talk shit, and give shit, man. Y'all stay up though. Peace. Peace. Vicky still don't say shit at the end. God. <laughs> I wait. I said bye. Y'all didn't hear me. <laughs>